Welcome once again then to the United States Grand Prix here in the magnificent city of Austin. It was here in 2018 that Kimi Raikkonen delighted the world by taking the top step of the podium for the first time in 114 races. There's always a record to be broken, so what, I wonder, is in store for us here today? We're racing today then in Travis County, Texas, where 20 corners and speeds of up to 200 miles per hour await us on this magnificent racetrack. It's 60% full throttle with plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into Turn 1 and the long back straight into Turn 12. What a race we have in store today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. George Russell will begin today's event in pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Rodriguez, Norris, Sergio Perez, and Ricardo. Leclerc, Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Fernando Alonso, and Valtteri Bottas, Ocon, Gasly, Guan Yu Zhou, and Fettel, Mick Schumacher, Magnussen, Yuki Tsunoda, and Lance Stroll, Latifi, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Natalie Pinkham joins me once again. It's fantastic to have you with us today. I'm curious, though, how do you think the drivers stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, I imagine they'll be starting to feel the adrenaline as they anticipate the rundown into Turn 1, a bit like preparing to go into battle. The unknown situation will bring nerves, but that's a good thing. It'll keep them focused on the moment and on their surroundings as we build towards the start of the Grand Prix. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Okay, we're looking at some gearbox wear, so try to keep the number of shifts to a minimum, please. You're pushing too hard, it's causing your gearbox to take increased wear. Just be careful. You've lost access to one of the gears. We've lost one of the gears due to a fault in the gearbox.
indicate DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Final lap of the race. teammate by 30.5 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're eighth. At the time last lap was a 1 minute 48.6.
absolutely awesome. Just amazing, mate. Well done. They take the chequered flag then here in Austin in what has been another fabulous Grand Prix. So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out of the track was. Speed. It sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races. And we saw that today with our winner. Here come our winners now, a thrilling race and a tremendous effort by Ferrari. Their history is well known, so it's no surprise to fans the world over to see them come out on top once again. So let's review the updated driver standings. Rodriguez increases their championship lead. So then, Natalie Pinkham, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to Rodriguez. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari continue to extend the gap at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, what an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.